Hey guys, it's Buddy702 here, and welcome back to another video, or another video that is completely different. Today we are playing Plants vs Zombies, and so let's get right into today's video. As you can see, welcome back, Buddy702, and well, I've just created this; it didn't record. So let's start the lovely adventure. I have not played this game through a laptop before. I've only played it on the lovely phone. So let's see if it's anything different. Plants vs Zombies. Let's just move that out of the way so we can get a lovely picture there with maybe a title screen. So let's get right into today's video. Pretty empty lawn there. And this should be pretty much the same. Really? Nicely done. Thank you, I right, Click the stars. Or the sun, I should say. We need it to grow more plants, thank you. And let's chuck another one down here. Don't let any zombies reach your house. If zombies reach the house, then they'll get mowed over by the lovely mama only once. This game starts off pretty quick. Oh, we've nearly pretty much finished this level already. So sort of always starts off the first level was always slow and painful. And then eventually, You've already completed the game, which is pretty good, and all you really need is the one. So let's keep collecting these lovely stars, and we've got a final wave. Wow, two zombies. Is that it? Come out to be more than that. Yep, one down. Let's destroy this last one here. Oh, and we discovered our lovely sunflower plant. That is great news. Let's go to the next level. And then as the, if there's any down bits, I'll probably just speed it up to prevent it from being as boring. Good, we've got two more bits of lawn. And let's plant our sunflowers back here. Try to get at least three of them. Well, of course, I can fit three of them on there. Or I can fit two, four, six, eight, nine of them. Let's just keep collecting a little bit more sun. Some more sun should hopefully fall since the wave hasn't fallen yet. And this is how you can sort of get through the game pretty well. Because no zombies are going to start until I get three of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed this bit up till I have enough to get... What is it? I need 100. 100. 200, 300, 400 sun, and then we will be able to be, we'll be able to plant down everything, and we should be more than ready enough for it. Oh no, they're starting the wave already. That's pretty good. Zombie is starting there. Let's plant you down there. Let's plant you there. Yes, thank you for letting me know. Let's plant you down there. And I normally always try and figure out where the first lot of zombies are going to come. If you're not going to stop flicking, there we go. Place that one down there, and as soon as we get 150, then we'll be all sorted. Now let's place you down there, and place you down there. And then now, let's speed up this lovely rest of this wave, or to the end of the wave. I'll see you guys at level 1-3. There we go, right here's the final wave just coming in now. I think I might have to change it because that normally makes sound final wave. I think I'm going to turn something down a bit low. So I'll try and get that there turned up a little bit so we can hear doo -doo -doo, final wave. Off out the voice, of course. Don't say doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's get in. Click these lovely suns. This seems pretty boring, even more boring than my lovely Minecraft explosion. There should be a sound effect going here if I remember. But it could be different for laptop. Don't know the lovely cherry bombs, and I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and figure out how to change the volume on here. Okay, here we go. We are now starting this here up. I'm not sure if this is actually gonna be too loud now. You can hear the that does seem pretty loud in my ears, but hopefully, it's not too loud for you guys because I can't check it right now. There we go, that sounds much better now. I might actually have my volume up a little bit loud for the headphones, it could be the reason. Love that lovely sound effect there, once they get all nice and centred up. 
we can chase, place down these lovely cheery bombs and take out a whole lot of these zombies. Oh, perfect! Took them all out. And now let's get our lovely barricade wall, which is known as our potato. So this proceeds to the next level of Buddy Simulator 2's house. And we've got some normal zombies here, which is pretty good. Oh, beautiful. Got some Warlord, which is even more perfect. So what I normally do is I normally have my sunflowers kept to the back. Then I have my shooters. Normally I have another row, and then I have my potatoes out front. So you have two walls of a defense, and then you can do some more sunflowers in the front. But normally, in if it, in the more advanced game, I can have my catapults behind here, and some more defense. So I have my wall going along. And then I have my lovely, I can't remember the name, they're the big uh, plant eaters, no, fly eaters, I can't remember what they're called. They're behind the, behind the potatoes to help prevent the ladder guys from destroying everything that I've come to build up. Which is pretty good. Good way to get pretty good tactics. And you can finish a game of plants with a zombie pretty quick once you get the hang of it. Especially if you sit around and waste your time playing a game. Because time can easily disappear when you're, when you're having fun on this game and not looking at the time. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit more and I'll see you guys once we get to the, near the end of the horde, I suppose. See you guys then. And now we get the lovely shovel or speed. Which we can use or yes, shovel or spade. And now we can remove our plants if we need. Wabby wabble. Greetings, neighbor. What is this guy's name? Crazy. Crazy Pete, I think. I can't remember. Dave. Crazy Dave. I knew it was someone crazy. They can call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. First, I'll need you to clean your lawn. Use your shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence! Poor plants. There we go. Ooh, goody now for the surprise. Can I use enter? We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. It's a walnut. I thought it was a potato. Why would I why would I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go bowl. Bowl me a winner. Now let's get into this. Exploder nut. Just let these pile up. Save the exploding nuts in case we need them. Like this hole that's down here. Get rid of all of them. Perfect. Oh, get rid of those guys there. Send another one down there. Try and take out these cone heads first. Roll that one down there. Should take out there. Perfect. Roll this one down. It should take out this area here. Beautiful. Let's use you and let's let's use you and you take out multiple ones. Beautiful. Good one there. Let's take you out. Let's take out this group down here and hope we take out these two cones. Beautiful. Let's get rid of those two there. Shouldn't have done that. Let's see where this wave is going to come from. And boom goes the dynamite. And now we have our little landmine ones. Which these ones here must, surely they must be potatoes. 
explodes on contact but takes time to arm itself. Okay, now we have our pogo players who jump over plants, which is always great. So to start things off, I'm going to start putting our lovely sunflowers out first. Just so that when we have our pogo people, they can jump over top of our defense. We don't want them to jump over and eat the sunflowers or jump over our defense here. So there's not much to really say during this game here. It's just quite simply just placing it round and looking at it. That's why there's quite a bit of speeding up that goes on during this video. Just to try and at least keep it somewhat interesting by just seeing how someone plays plants versus zombies. Place you down there, beautiful. Place in another sunflower. There's no point placing the fence here when we don't need it at this time. Now we need defense. Let's place you down there, and I can't remember how long it takes for these to arm themselves. But we sort of need you right now, mate. Please arm yourself now. Not too bad. Oh, nice, good achievement. See, this guy's going to jump over the sunflower, which is always great. Good sound effects there, mate. Jeez, you hate him very quick, didn't you? Are you going to get through my defense? No, you're not. Surely you're not going to get through my defense. Oh, shoot, you're getting through my defense. Okay. That ain't good. Okay, so I'm going to need another guy to be placed here. That's not good. You hit him very quick, don't you? Hmm. Okay, I might have got myself a little bit of trouble here. Okay, let's just try and get some more defense up and going. At least these guys can see the entire length, which is always a good thing. Let's get some more landmines down here and get at least two defenses going along. And this guy should hopefully be blowing up. I'm not sure if the landmines blow up, blow them up or not. Hopefully they do. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, it's good to know. I'll remember that next time. Let's place down another sunflower. Place down another wave, and we're short of one here. There we go, we should survive this, hopefully. Final wave. Placing down another guy there. We should be nice and sorted out. Beautiful people, beautiful. And we now have our lovely freezing pea that freezes and slews down to preceding enemies. Same zombies, which is pretty good. And now let's just speed this one up, just to get the planting over and done with. There you go, people, the seventh way was a very easy one. And here's the plant that's talking about that, gobbles them up and takes a little while. The carnivorous plant, carnival plant? Or chomper, I can't, I can't remember the name of them. Anyway, let's get into this one here, and we've got our tin can heads, which are pretty good. Now we get to select our lovely ones that we want. These ones here come in handy quite a bit. So do potatoes. So we want to have we want to have these guys on because they're always very handy. This guy here is pretty good while chewing. Now I've got no jumpers, so we're just going to go ahead with all these guys here, and let's rock. 
let's speed this one up again so it's not any boring. And I'll see you guys at the end of round eight or wave eight. I should add to it. Okay, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Here we go. Okay, those ten guys are quite strong, so I need to watch it. Okay, I'm going to place that potato down there because I can't really have enough to get up there. Place you down, place you down, and start trying to get shooters back into gear. <laughs> oh no, I got the final wave. This could be a little bit bad. My plan might have backfired a little bit. As long as I survive, it should be okay. Please survive. But the law miles would save us anyway. It's only if they, if it's good to save the law miles the final wave. It always helps out quite a bit. You got got any tin hats along here? Okay, got one tin hat. He'll be taken out. Place you down there. And that, my friends, is the last zombie. And now we have the super shooter who shoots twice as fast. It costs twice the amount. So let's head into this next one here. And do we have any new mobs? No, we do not. We new zombies, I should say. We want you, we want you. We want you because you're good for defense. We'd rather have this one here. And these two here. Was it a smart choice? I'm not sure if it's a smart choice. Or not. Those here can take out a whole lot of people or things at once. Yeah, let, let's get, let's rock and let's see if I've made a bad choice of judgment. At least the uh, super shooters load in pretty quick, which is always helpful. Oh, look, a mysterious note has just popped up. Let's see what it sees. Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on your hose. Sincerely, the zombies. Your hose. Zombies. Are coming. Is this a rolling? No, this one isn't a rolling one. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Okay, let's just do that there then. Nice and beautiful. And now we have the mushroom, which means we will be coming into the lovely night time. So I've no idea how long this video is going to be going once I've speed up certain bits, but we have been going for nearly an hour so far. I think it's nearly an hour. Evening, buddy 702. Thank you, Crazy D. Those zombies just won't let up, will they? You know that the fight at night is different than day. For one, you won't get any sun from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers. And lucky for you, you've got once yourself some mushrooms. Plant as many of those as you want, as you can, and I'll be a, a, and you'll be a who good. Oh, we have the little grandma one. Oh, never knew you could do that. Like, you just scroll over top. Newspaper zombie. Can I click on her? There's normal zombies. That's pretty good. Okay. So, that means we want it. this one here. We, we want this one here. This one here. We want this one here. This one here. This one here. And I suppose we want the explosion one. Because they're a lot cheaper than any of the other ones. Yay, we have graves. That is always fun, isn't it? Okay, let's start out with getting these little shrooms everywhere. This is going to take a while to click sun, so we just have to try and get as many shrooms up as possible. And no, my luck, yes, they have to appear in that spot, don't they? They probably take zero damage as well, these little shrooms. Oh, this site is horrible. 
Okay, that's 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 good to know that they can't see that far. Okay, yeah, distance is three blocks that you can see. That's good to know. Let's place you down there. And then let's start placing these down. How long does it take to die? Nearly three blocks. That's great. There we go, people. We've unlocked another new mushroom. Is this one here a bit sun? Yes, yeah, small amounts. And normal sun later when it grows up into a big mushroom. Oh, that's nice and cute. Hey, you collected $270 in coins so far. Oh, two coins. Amazing. When you collect 750 I'll sell you something really neato. Let's get in and we will make this the last wave of the evening, I think. So we're gonna need those ones there. We want you, we want you, we want you, and we want you. I think that's a pretty good combination, hopefully. So let's rock. And we have graves, beautiful. Let's start by placing these ones here down and placing these all along the outside. Nido, got another one of you, got one there. I want to see where these zombies are going to come in. So I can start running the fence. Okay, beautiful. Let's place another shroom down there so we get five suns each from the mother looks of the things. Five suns? No, oh, 15 each. That's pretty good. I love the sound effect of these little mushrooms. Let's just go ahead and let's speed this up again. And I'll see you guys once we get to the end. There we go. Now we have a bigger mushroom, which is pretty good. Slowly building on this defense along here, which is always helpful. Let's place our little shroom there while I try and wait to get ourselves some more sun. Beautiful. Now we've got that there defended. And we're just about to get our next wave of zombies to come in. Which is always pretty fun. At least we've got some defense going down here. We've got some bigger shrooms coming in now. Another one's growing up. Try and get several rows of it coming along here. Let's chuck down a potato there to stop that defense. Place that down there. Place in a few more shrooms. And we are doing pretty good, I think so, so far. That angry mother there. Place down a couple more shrooms. Place down a bomb there, which should be pretty good. Open up this here. Place ourselves down another sunflower, which are always handy. Place down little bits there. And you guys all get the drift. So let's go back into the lovely sped up mood. There we go, and we've now unlocked the bubble blower mushroom. And that there is all we're going to be doing for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, there we go, got a little barricade door one. Let's go to the main menu, hopefully that all saves. And I believe the survival locked, puzzles locked, mini games locked, adventure. <laughs> That sounds much better with the sound on. I'm not sure if there's a way to view these guys or not. So let's just go to the main menu and let's view all our lovely achievements. Oh, got cool. well, I love how you can just roll down to the lovely diamond down there. So we've got all our little achievements down there. So it sees more down here. So we've got diamonds, ooze, a dead unicorn, a pipe. Some old skull things. How far does this go down? And we have got. Okay, so there's a hole going through to China. Dig a hole all the way through to China. That is good saying. The people sit everywhere. So, anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I exit out, but thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. 
which I don't know what it's going to be. It could be Skyrim, it could be Minecraft, it could be another one of these. Let's see. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's cue that lovely outro.